Good afternoon, everybody from Guangzhou in China. Uh, it's the first time I'm coming to this city, and uh, still remember the last time I was here in China. That was roughly three to four years ago, and uh, haven't been here after the pandemic. So really excited to go to the city and um, explore a bit about Guangzhou. Um, yeah, let's see. I mean, it's, when it's your first time in in a in a new place, you know, you um, you're a bit lost, you know, because you don't know where exactly to go. So, anyways, I've taken note of a few of the touristic spots, so which I will try to uh, hit, and uh, let's see what I can capture for you guys. Yeah, stick around and let's go. <laughs> So let's start off with our day and as you guys must have noticed in my previous videos, I personally prefer to use the public transportation when I have to move around the city. Unfortunately today in Guangzhou, I'm staying quite a distance away from the city center, which is the reason why I am taking a taxi. And uh, it's just my personal preference. Uh, every time I go to somewhere new and I know nothing about that place, I just try not to experiment a lot so I was like let's just take the taxi get to the city center and uh, see what we can do from there onwards <laughs> <laughs> So today is Sunday and it seems like everybody's on the roads today. I am currently roaming around the Beijing Lu, which can be translated to the Beijing Road. It is one of the most famous places here in uh, Guangzhou and uh, you'll get to see lots of tourists around this place and I'm just walking into random stores, random streets, trying to figure out uh, if there's anything interesting. It's a beautiful place, as you can see, it is decorated, um, the, the, especially this, this uh, street, the Beijing Lu. And um, I'm just trying to walk into the random streets and see if there's anything interesting that I can capture for you guys. So let's keep on walking around and see what we can find around Guangzhou. So these kids right here that I've been capturing for the past few minutes, they're all over the place. Uh, I mean, it seems like they have stormed the whole city and I just can't seem to avoid them. <laughs> Anyways, let's just keep on walking and uh, try and capture what we have around Beijing Road. And uh, just a couple of minutes away from uh, where I was, I did manage to find this huge temple. It's a Buddhist temple and uh, obviously I was going to walk in and the moment I walked in I saw pretty interesting things such as kids kneeling down to these fellows right in the front I don't know who they are and um, when I walked around the whole temple there were hundreds of them so I was running a bit short on time so I just couldn't um, stop by anybody and ask who they are so this is pretty much how it looks like this place this temple in the night and as I was about to exit the building, I realized that there's a little passage that everybody seems to be taking. I decided to go on with the flow and this is where I ended up. There's a huge temple right behind the building I was in a couple of minutes ago. And uh, I'm just gonna roam around for a bit and then try to enter these temples. Hopefully I won't get stopped because some of these religious sites, they have restrictions in terms of photography and videography. So hopefully I won't get stopped. So I'm just going to roam around for a bit and then try to enter the temple and see what I can capture for you guys.
so it's uninterested with the first temple and now entering temple number two uh, it was a bit of a challenge to be honest with you uh, to record this video uh, reason being it was a bit congested and everybody was praying right in the front and in some religions and cultures it's considered super rude and disrespectful if you walk past in front of the individuals who are praying so that took a little bit of an extra time for me and uh, I just you know thought of not crossing anybody's um, anybody from the front uh, give them a little bit of time wait for the path to clear up and then proceed on and uh, yeah I mean this this temple was kind of um, something that I've never seen before usually there is only front entrance this entrance this this temp this particular temple it had a front and a back so there were praying sites right in the front as well as the back as you can see there are lots of um, uh, people who are praying at the back as well and it just doesn't seem to end this place so I'll just carry on record quietly and see what else there is to be explored in this temple Hey guys, I am currently roaming around in the streets of Guangzhou and I wasn't expecting to see Let's have a look what they have inside here yeah. I mean I wasn't This place is Oh my goodness I'm not sure where I am, but I'm just trying to navigate through these streets and I hope I don't get attacked by a Chinese ghost or something. <laughs> Typical China, small houses full of greenery and temples. That's what I've been recording for the past 30 to 40 minutes. I think I'm standing in someone's <laughs> residential area. I better get going. I mean, I just came through this place because it, it did look like a typical that, you know, the Chinese sort of architecture that you get to see in, in, in videos quite often. So I just thought of going around and uh, capture a bit. And it does seem like someone's uh, residential area. So I better get going, get the hell out of this place before I get, uh, before I get into trouble. Let me show you this guy, one behind me. <laughs> Not sure who he is. Anyways, I'm gonna get going and uh, I'll try and capture a bit more for you guys and uh, stick around. Very impressed with the city so far. It's just that the, the weather is a bit annoying and uh, just the, the language barrier. I'll show you impressive street. Huh? So yeah, uh, I did manage to capture a bit for you guys. Uh, the temple that I was giving you a tour just a short while ago and uh, I'll keep on walking through the streets let's see where where I'm gonna end up yeah I'll just keep on walking through the streets I'm not sure where I'm gonna end up but uh, yeah as long as I, I don't get into trouble I'm cool with everything
so this is gonna be it for today i hope you guys did like the video i did manage to do a little bit of shopping in the end and bought myself a couple of plants anyways you guys take care of yourselves and i'll see you very soon again